Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Tim and I started a fish farm hub in Uganda. I just thought I would show you through some of the tasks that we do uh, in terms of the hatching and things like that. Um, some of the finer bits of process. So I'm just going to talk, talk you through some of that with Sam um, and hopefully you'll be able to learn something from that. This is two kilograms of, uh, of maggots and a bit of frass. Yeah, that's very good, Sam. So you're taking this to the ponds now, and then you'll feed yeah. the fish. Very good. And you're saying the way you collect it is you you get a spade, yeah. then you uh, put it inside the polytunnel outside, uh, look where it's hot. And because it's hot, the, <clears throat> the mag... Actually, usually when we are getting them from here, they are really inactive. Hmm. But when, when we put them in, a, in this tray or the basin, they and put under we put in the polytunnel yeah. where there is where it is more warm, they gradually they become active. So they mm. start burrowing into the substrate, then they mm. go down because they don't want light. Mm -hmm. So after for us we come and we remove that substrate. Mm. Continue removing, removing until when we remain with the on, only the larvae, most of the larvae. Yeah, I understand. Very good. Uh, we, uh, we did use this before, so you'd put them on top and then they'd fall through, but Sam was saying it's much slower um, and this seems to work very well. For us, because we have ponds, we fertilise this extra, you, know, you can see a bit of substrate, actually all it does is it fertilises the pond, so it's not a bad thing, it adds a bit of green. Um, yeah, very good Sam. I'm about to show you the hatchlings, but I just thought I'd show you this, this is a small ad adaptation, I'm not sure I've talked to you about this, but um, so this is fresh, fairly fresh market waste you see Matoki, it needs to be crushed. Um, but one of the things that we do, uh, Sam was saying, is he, he likes to give this stuff, this is a bit older, it smells a bit more, you can see it's a bit more rotten. Um, and of course that's easier to digest for the BSF, so we're avoiding giving them the really fresh, harder stuff, and then we give them some of the, uh, this stuff, just because uh, the, um, it's already begun some of that decomposition and it just makes it easier for them to access their, their feed. Right, so let's go and have a look at those hatchlings now. There's just some household waste from from my dinner last night. That will go into the into the old uh, container to ferment a bit before we break it down. So let's go look at those hatchlings. So we keep them in here at the moment, um, principally because of heat. So, because it's a conc concrete room, at night time it doesn't get as cold and we're trying to make sure that they're surviving all right. Here's the sacks for the, that farmer. They're gonna get shifted across. So they're behind here. So I've just brought, me and Sam just brought these out. He's allowed me, because normally we keep these inside. We don't, we don't want to disturb them because they're very delicate. We don't want them to be um, uh, bothered by people uh, or, you know, there's a bit of wind out here. But this is from two days ago. And you can see some of them are hatched already. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. You can, um, yeah. If you look there, those have hatched. You can see they've just left the egg casings, but then these ones haven't. Some of them have, some of them haven't, but they're much darker in color. Um, and so this is how we get some good hatching and they'll be in here directly into the substrate and they can start their, their process. So it's very good. Um, they are delicate at this stage and we're trying to survive, get as many as to survive as possible. Uh, then this one here is from the 16th, so that is uh, seven days ago. And normally we would put them directly into substrate on um, day eight. So we have someone coming to buy some of these tomorrow. Um, so you can see there's a lot there. Uh, and there's a lot of heat coming from it as well because they're digesting the maize. So it's a very good process and credit to Sam for really getting this up and running and doing so well with it. Um, we sort of had stops and starts. There's a bigger one there. You see that bigger one? So what this is left, so this, when we collect for the farmer, we sort of heap the maize into a corner and then they sort of all, con they, they, yeah, you can see down there, they end up going together. Um, and so, we then left over some maize, and then that maize we're going to reuse for another batch. And so that's why we've got some bigger ones in here because they're all, they, all they've eaten is maize, but they're left over from 
previous um, bits of maze, but obviously they're still worth keeping. So thanks very much, Sam, for your help. Welcome. Right. So that's another that's another video for you. Hopefully that's useful. It's uh, it's good to see some of the hatching and some of the sort of really the finer detail of how we do this um, project. Um, clearly, uh, Sam has done a great job. I'm very uh, pleased with his progress. You know, I did say to him, look, this, treat this as your own and do, just do some experimenting, do some, uh, you know, some trials really to see what works best. Um, and it's that knowledge and expertise uh, that's so key to the Rad Hub model because that wealth of experience can be passed on to other farmers uh, as he's doing his work. So. So yeah, thank you very much for, for watching, thanks for your support and we'll see you on the